Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming what I got at Marshalls. So this video is more of like a collective haul. I didn't really go to Marshalls and find all of this stuff in like one day. It really took me a couple of like trips to find all the stuff that I did find. And some of it was actually gifted to me. But nevertheless, I wanted to show you guys what I did get and what you guys can find at your Marshalls. I found a lot of stuff and I'm so excited to show you guys if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel and uh, click the notification bell so you guys do know when I do upload. Also, comment down below what is the best find you guys have found. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me just hide that back into my shirt. Comment down below what you guys, what was your favorite find at Marshall? What was the best find you have ever found? I think for me, my best find I have found was this Too Faced mascara that I'm absolutely in love with. I have used it today and um, you guys will see that in a bit. But it's my absolute favorite. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get on with this video before this intro gets way too long. So I have everything inside this beautiful Marshalls bag right here. Like I said, I did not find all of this in one day. It's more of a collective haul. But I'm really excited to show you guys. So I got a bunch of goodies. These are all high-end except for like one thing. Like, like couple things but other than that most of it it is high end it's like Anastasia Too Faced Bare Minerals and stuff like that so let's just uh, okay I'm so excited I need to stop talking so the first thing that I'm going to pull out is um I found this Bite Beauty lipstick it just looks like that um I don't have the package for this and um, it did come in a in a box but I took it off because it, it was just gonna be too bulky in my collection but I did find this I believe I found this for about six dollars if i don't remember it's like five or six dollars but it's just in this beautiful beautiful nude color which is all me let me just swatch this for you guys it's just look at that oh my god um so this is a bite beauty butter cream lipstick in cream and that is just how it looks like so like i said five to six dollars i'm not sure how much this retails for but if everything that i do find i'm gonna put what the price actually retailed for and I'm going to tell you guys what um what I bought it for because I feel like that'd be fun you know to know how much you're saving and what other people are really spending on at Ulta so I found that another thing that I found was this bare minerals bare skin sheer sun it's a serum bronzer so I have seen these a lot at Marshall's they were going actually on clearance they weren't even on like regular sale they're regular sale um these were actually going in clearance and I actually bought this for three dollars it's kind of like a sheer, it is, well, it is a sheer bronzer. But what I love about this is that you can really build it up, especially for those who are more on the drier skin side. This would be perfect because it is very extremely hydrating, as you can tell. Like, look at that. It's just really, really, really pretty. It's very natural. And as you keep going, um, you could really, I feel like you could really build this up or... Put this underneath your bronzer and then put powder on top and it would just be absolutely perfect. You can set it right there. And I only bought it for three bucks. So I wonder how much this retails for because, I mean, yas. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I did get was these Hasponesque uh, Velvet Touched Lashes. And I absolutely fell in love with these lashes. So this one retailed for $3.99. This one actually has a sticker. And um, it says it compare at $6. I don't think it compares at $6. I'm pretty sure it compares at like 12 or something like that. Like I said, I'll put the prices like somewhere in the screen. Um, but I got these. And look at this. Isn't it so pretty? So my eyes, I don't know if you can see it. My eyes are like super chinky. I don't have lots of lid space in my eyes because I have um, uh, a hood. I have hooded eyes. So for these, I feel like these were just the perfect, perfect size for my eyes. I have not tried these yet and I'm super excited, but I'm just like waiting to see like one day that I am going to go out so I can try these babies on. As you can hear, it has the glue stick inside. And for $4 for these lashes, and it's a Hasbro-esque, and that's a Ulta brand uh, product, I was just like, yeah. I found, well, I actually was gifted this product. This is the Ellen Tracy. It was like a highlighting set. So it came with the e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. Why am I? No. Ellen Tracy Illuminator. It just looks like that. And it's just a really pretty highlight. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But, yeah, it's just a really pretty highlight. This one is a strobe. Um, so, ooh, it's like super soft. I have not tried these, you guys. 
it's like a strobe and this one's like super soft <clears throat> and this one is a highlighter so it's just a liquid highlighter I actually gifted this product um i haven't tried it except for the illuminated illuminated is really pretty but i've not tried the strobe or the highlighter and now looking at the highlighter it's more like glitter rather than an actual highlight and the strobe is really pretty but this one's more of like glitter so i don't know how i feel about that but this is really pretty and then i the strobe is really nice too and um it came in a set i believe i'm not sure because the pro the price didn't come with it but i'm pretty sure this was like roughly around like maybe seven dollars it's not that expensive especially at at marshall's you'll see ellen tracy like pretty much everywhere another thing that i got was this belle pierre glowing palette oh my goodness you guys this was the best one i went to a different marshall's than my regular marshall's that i go to and i found this and i was just like oh my goodness so it was originally 7.99 there at the store um i took off the price tag but it was 7.99 and actually <laughs> Sorry, but I actually took off the price tag of this because I knew I could get it for cheaper. Because, if for one, it was missing a, what's it called? It was missing a shade, which is actually this really pretty shade right here. And it's just like, why? But, I mean, whatever. But, um, it was missing a shade. If you guys see the dip, it's because I have, like, I've used it already. So, but it was missing a shade. And, um, I actually got this for $4. I was just like, oh, my sister, she has another one of these. It looks like the palette from Anastasia, like the Moonchild one. And this one, oh my gosh, you guys, I really like this one. I've used this multiple times, as you can see. The swatches on there, I have used this a lot. Did not use it today, but I'm just really sad that they took, like, the most prettiest, like, um, shadow. I mean, highlight. But, you know, for $4, I can't really complain actually gifted this too it was for my birthday it was a beauty concepts blushed nudes so just looks like that it comes in this like cardboard like plastic uh, thing and the brush fell it also comes with this brush that's literally useless to me because i have other better brushes but it just looks like that um uh, let me swatch a color let me swatch a shimmer color just that's a shimmer color and let me swatch a matte matte as you can tell like the shimmers are a lot more better than the mattes the shimmers they're super creamy and soft i'm very surprised because it's a beauty concept brand and that's more of like a brand that's compared to like profusion and stuff it's like kind of a lower brand they don't it's, it comes with more shimmers than it does with mattes there's probably there's only like one two three there's three mattes and i don't even know how many shades are in this thing but as you can tell there's a lots of shades in here and only three mattes so i mean there's not really much i can do with this palette but i'll continue using it for the shimmers the shimmers are super pretty but i have two face anastasia and smashbox so let's dive into that the more fun part so um let me just start off with this cardboard box here so i had the bare minerals pop of passion um it came in the beautiful little peach um cardboard box but unfortunately i lost or my son he was getting through going through my um what's it called my my collection my station my makeup vanity and stuff and he was going through the stuff and he went through all of my boxes took out everything that was inside these cardboard boxes um i was able to recover everything like to find everything except for this one i was never able to find this lipstick again i don't know where he put it it was so unfortunate because i actually really did like it it was kind of like a, it was a lip balm it was a peach lip balm it was in the color of the, like the carper box and i absolutely loved it I only was i was only able to use it like two or three times before he lost it and i went through everywhere in my closet because my vanity used to be in my closet so I went through everything. I went through every shoe, every box, every like crease and stuff. And I took everything out of my closet, looked for it, and I just cannot find this. I don't know where it went, but it's gone. But I just wanted to show you guys because I did bought this for $3, which is, like like I said, another incredible deal because it's Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals 
is a high-end product it's going to be expensive but i only bought it for three dollars and now i lost it so now i have the, just the box to remember it it's gone forever along with that actually in the same trip i bought this this is the Too faced la cream um color drenched lip cream so this is it just looks like that i just love Too faced products um packaging but it's just in a really really pretty um kind of melon melony if that's even a word but a beautiful melon color and actually it doesn't have the price on it but i remember it was like around five dollars and for two pay two two paste two face that's a really good deal to only buy this for five bucks that's incredible so i have actually a couple more two face products i found a lot of two face there but i actually found this two face perfect eyes um waterproof eyeliner and it was only, you guys ready, $5. So it was $5 compared to 8 which I'm pretty sure that's not correct. Pretty sure it's more than that. But I found this black eyeliner. Can you believe that? A black eyeliner for 5 bucks from Too Faced. It's just, like, I'm barely even topping my skin with this pencil. And look how dark that is. And it's, um, and it comes with the smudger on the other side. See, I'm beautifully oh my gosh look at that so um another Too Faced product that i have is this size queen um multi-dimensional mascara and this was actually ten dollars which for a Too Faced mascara i'm pretty sure these things like run for it with like 21 dollars. so i got this for 50 technically 50 percent off so this is a um, this was for ten dollars and originally was 15 which i'm pretty sure wasn't i'm pretty sure it was more than that and it comes it looks like this so don't be scared it is a huge huge bottle i don't think i'm ever gonna run out of this but um it's in a huge mascara bottle and oh my goodness look at this guy so do not do not be scared of this mascara when i tell you guys this mascara is amazing it is amazing so i use it on my lashes today i would actually pay retail price for this because i mean like i said it's a high-end product so that worked amazing so another thing that i actually found there was a anastasia beverly hills it was an eyeshadow it's a little single eyeshadow this is in the color fawn um i don't i think these were 3.99 if i don't remember if i remember correctly um they were more i like the single eyeshadows but i only picked up one because the rest of them were obviously in fawn and only like 20 fawns but um it just looks like that and uh yeah i have not used this one yet actually but for $3.99 for an Anastasia product, that's incredible. Oh my gosh! I completely forgot about this baby. Oh my gosh, so I have the Lip Palette Volume 1 Anastasia Beverly Hills, obviously. Oh my goodness, I forgot I got this for my birthday as well. Holy cheese balls. So I have this beautiful palette right here. Guys, you should go to, if you guys are looking to buy this product, Go to your Marshalls because these are, I think they're originally like $50 and their Marshalls are at $25. So they're half off. And at my Marshalls, there's tons of these. There's always a lot of these. So if you guys have not gone to your Marshalls and you want this, um, if you guys want this palette, go to Marshalls because they have tons of these right now. So I have this. I completely forgot that I got this at Marshalls. <laughs> so um, the last thing that I found was this Smashbox Lid primer in white so this was ten dollars as well which i'm sure it's not ten dollars at ulta but i found it and i bought it because i mean like it's matchbox and it's a lip primer so i used it today on these eyeshadows this is an elf palette and uh, i feel like this really um brought out the colors in that product because i used that product i used the elf palette with a different lip primer and it just wasn't this what's it called it wasn't this pigmented with the other primer so i know this one brought out i know this one works amazingly i mean it's a smashbox lip primer and i had just had to snatch it even though it was ten dollars it was kind of like a little bit of expensive for me but um i just couldn't resist i mean it's a lip primer you guys and um it's a photo finish lid primer in white and it just looks like this look how pretty that is oh this is everything that i bought at marshall's it is a huge huge stuff like i said i did not go to marshall's all in one trip and find all of this stuff 
it was over time, over like a couple of trips, actually, sometimes I would go into Marshalls and I'd see nothing, and other times I'd see a bunch of things, so obviously I could not buy everything, but the products that really stood out to me and I knew I was going to use, I bought it for. If you guys want me to film like a follow me around um, vlog, with me going to TJ Maxx or going to Marshalls or going to Nordstrom. Comment that down below. That I feel like that would be so much fun to do. Um, I would love to do that for you guys. Only if you guys are interested in watching. I know those things are like going around right now at YouTube. In YouTube and the beauty community. So I'll jump on the bandwagon if you guys are excited to see that as well. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also click the notification bell so you do know when I when I do upload. Comment down below what was your favorite find at Marshalls. And uh, follow me on all my social media. I'm at Silva. Everything will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.